Hey, in this tutorial, I'm going to be going over quite a fundamental element in Flash, and that is what stage size do I use? And there isn't really a right or wrong answer for this, it just mainly depends on what you're making. And for example, if you're making a Flash game, it really is just down to your own discretion in terms of what shape you want which best accommodates your genre of game. For example, if you're making a platformer, you typically want quite a wide stage size, so you have a lot of terrain on screen at once. And if you're making a shooter, like a vertical shooter, you'd obviously want quite a long and thin stage size. Now, my main tip about this if you're making a Flash game is just to understand that the restrictions on browser web pages, for example, I think on Newgrounds, the maximum width uh, for a game or movie is 910 pixels. So just make sure when you're making your stage size, it isn't too big because then some browsers won't be able to accept it. But what I want to mainly talk about in this tutorial is stage sizes for cartoons and cartoons which at some point will be converted to video because then the stage size is quite important. Okay, so if I go over and check out the stage size, you'll notice on Flash the default stage size is always 550 by 400. And this, in other words, is an aspect ratio of 11 by 8. And it's quite a square stage size and if I was to use this for a cartoon and convert it to a video as it is and upload it to somewhere like YouTube, you would notice right away that on the video player on YouTube there would be two black bars on either side. And this is because that the video is not wide enough and from about I think 2008-2009 um, a lot of websites including YouTube have used a video player aspect ratio of 16 by 9 to um, accommodate for HD video. So that being said, my first tip would be to use a stage size which is 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Now if you're using a machine which is perhaps uh, not that high spec or you have problems with flash lagging out and maybe even crashing from time to time, one stage size I would advise using is 640 by 360. And this is a relatively small stage size, it is 16 by 9 and it's commonly known as 360p. Now the one of the beauties of Flash is the fact that if you're using vector graphics, what you can do is use this small stage size and then at the end when you want to convert to video through either Swivel or just Flash's uh, Flash to Video Converter, what you can then do is at the end is convert it to HD and because it's vector graphics, it'll just be converted up without any quality loss and you'll have HD video. And I've used this stage size a lot in the past and it does make things a lot quicker because flash will lag a lot less and it will go a lot more smoothly. But that being said, it is quite a small stage size. So you might want to think about uh, using a bigger one if you're using very detailed graphics or you're using it to uh, have very big sort of complicated scenes. Okay, so I'm going to look up another solid stage size which I've used in the past, 800 by 450. And this is just slightly bigger than the last one, but um, it's quite good if you want a sort of uh, slightly bigger palette to draw on. And um, it does slow things down slightly because it's a bit bigger, but I would definitely advise using this if you want a bit more room to work with. Okay, and the final one I'm going to show you is just um, the typical HD resolution and that's obviously 1280 by 720 and I've used this uh, quite a lot recently and it does come with a fair few advantages and disadvantages but I'll go through them. So one main advantage about using this stage size is that it already is the same resolution as 720p HD and this can come in handy if you use bitmaps um, in amongst your flash layers and I tend to use bitmaps quite a lot as backgrounds and bitmaps of course are rasterized graphics which means that if you and scale them up, they will lose quality. So by using 720p and conveying it to 720p video, it's the same native resolution, which means I can get away with using bitmaps because I'm not being scaled up. Okay, so the main thing to take away from this tutorial is the fact that you want a stage size which is small enough for flash to not lag so much and you can uh, have a smoother workflow, but also a stage size which is big enough so you can make detailed drawings and have more control what's going on. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And also, if you want to make some suggestions about future tutorials I could make, just leave them in the comment section below or message me on YouTube. Thanks.